Hello, everyone. I'm Ted Carpenter, co-founder and CEO of Tap and Stash. By show of hands, how many of you have been in a local business getting ready to pay, and they've asked you to join their loyalty program by handing you a paper punch card or some kind of a plastic swipe card? Okay. Thank you. Now, for those of you that tend to take or accept these cards, how many of you have discarded it later before earning a reward? Okay, that's about the same amount, and that's a problem, because most loyalty programs, especially those of smaller businesses, don't offer consumers enough value for them to keep and use that program faithfully. As consumers, we tend to minimize or resist loyalty programs. But as marketers, we can't ignore the mountain of data out there that prove a well-funded, well-executed loyalty program increases transaction frequency and the size of those transactions. And that's where Tap and Sash comes in, because we've developed a new patent-pending concept. It's a new peer-to-peer -peer technology, and we're calling the concept peer-to-peer -peer coalitions. Now, if you're familiar with the traditional coalition model, it usually involves large corporations that have agreed to accept each other's loyalty points, like you often see with airlines and hotel chains. But when you apply our model of peer-to-peer, -peer, it opens that concept up to businesses of all sizes, allowing merchants to connect with each other instantly to give their customers more value together than they could ever offer alone. Peer-to-peer -peer is also completely self-organizing, enabling massive scale as sales teams work with merchants to get them set up, growth begins, starts to begin to grow virally as those merchants continue to build out their networks and connect with each other online. Now all the merchant has to do is simply log on to their console and search for a complementary business within their geography. When they're ready to partner up, they click the connect button, an invitation is instantly sent to the other business. Now, if that business accepts that invitation, an ecosystem is born where their customer can now earn rewards with one and spend those rewards with the other. Can we go back just one second? So one thing I wanted to mention here is that under the peer-to-peer -peer model, rewards accumulate much faster for the consumer, but more importantly, and this is a key point, the rewards are portable. And because of that portability, that's what gives consumers the incentive they need to actually keep and use this kind of a program. So all the consumer has to do is download Tap and Stash from the App Store to their phone. They link a debit or credit card to their account. And then they simply search for businesses that they need within the app and then pay with their phone to earn, track, and redeem rewards all in one single process. So now to keep everything absolutely fair and equitable for our merchants, we don't use a loyalty point system. Instead, we use dollars. And that's because dollars puts everyone on a common reward currency that's easily understood. There's no exchange rate, there's no redemption rules to deal with, the merchant simply decides how much their customer must first spend with them before issuing a reward to that customer. So basically, when that happens, that ensures that the economics work for every merchant individually across our entire ecosystem or our entire platform. Now, when a, when a reward is finally earned, that reward is placed in the tap and stash escrow account in trust for the consumer. The consumer is then free to spend that reward either with the original merchant where it was earned or with any coalition partner of that merchant. So we're not dependent on near field communication or NFC. We use a simple yet 100% secure QR code and relating scanning related scanning technology to make our proximity payments happen. Tap and Stash truly surfaces businesses to consumers in a multitude of ways, from paid placement and in-app search to the organic discovery of businesses through these peer-to-peer -peer relationships. Additionally, 
the data that we collect from these transactions is infinitely valuable. Mapping the patterns of consumer behavior gives our merchants incredible insight into growing their businesses more effectively. Now, there is a lot of stuff we're working on we don't have time to cover in this presentation today, but I would ask you to join us as we enable the first ever merchant graph, mapping the patterns or the, the relationships between businesses in our local communities. You can contact me at the email address shown or visit tappandstash.com to get in touch. Thank you very much for your time.